this is about the right position for a downwind leg for the altitude we have. We want to fly parallel to the runway, which we're doing. We're looking at landmarks up ahead. We're keeping our nose down. This glider has a nose low appearance when it's flying at a normal speed. Uh, it looks like the nose is going down, but we're actually maintaining just a good normal glide attitude. <clears throat> set our trim as part of our checklist and the T is also traffic. Okay, the runway is clear. Nobody's in the pattern. We're looking left and right. We're going to maintain our speed all the way down. Uh, the next turn we make will be the turn on base leg. That's a, a, a portion that will be 90 degrees to the runway. We're going to check our air brakes. They work. Close them now. It's about time to turn for our base leg. This is our base leg turn. We roll out. And the next turn will be the turn on the final. And the nose down to an aiming point. And we use our dive brakes to limit how far the glider will go forward. We're rolling into our turn. And we're going to line up with the runway while we're high. Now we missed lining up, so now we're lining up while we've got altitude. We're holding the dive brakes open a little bit to keep us from flying to the other end of the runway. As we get close to the ground, we'll bring the nose up and put the glider in a landing attitude. Little thermal activities causing some little up and down feelings. We're holding it off now. I'm holding it holding it and holding it. It's going to touch down just about now. There's the landing. We're going to fly our wheel brakes. And there's going to be a bump when we take off here. that very much. Let's see how it turned out. Well, that's the best parking you can do. Pardon? <laughs>